Hello everyone and welcome back to Android 1800 to our glorious Knutus uh, that is uh, continuing to grow and we have a lot of work to do. First of all, in the last episode we finally finished the coffee production and the first uh, 200 tons of coffee is already in. I think we already have um, the, the trader actually returning again, so skipjack to the new world and is in transition right now and i would like to use this to add the next clipper to this one because we certainly will need more clippers for this trade route we also have a caoutchouc um the trader is now active and delivering the caoutchouc over from pedro seca there as well where we should have yeah already some 160 uh, tons of caoutchouc available i think actually we might see the first 200 tons coming in here soon as well this is for my bicycles now we are also having a, a pretty nice surplus of materials so with uh, the hacienda we kind of like neglected knutus there a bit and we could use this to just continue beautifying this town now you know getting um, some shapes right and stuff like that we do have a lot of patchwork one of them would be my fisheries so we have all these fisheries oh, over right. here in knuters that we don't really need there anymore since we could have them over here for example or also over here now there might be an attack coming but uh, as we know fisheries are really easy to repair and we could use the additional space here for more document modules and especially more piers because it is getting tight here so we could for example get rid of uh, these fisheries here we don't need to get rid of them yet but those would be fine uh, for starters, let's do this and let's just replace those four fisheries uh, to some other location. So, for example, yeah, just over there, four of them we can easily squeeze into uh, this area where we actually do have quite a nice um, amount of, of space available, right, that we can use for our glorious fisheries, as you, as you might say. And let's just have a look. Yeah, there we have it with that mountain there again. But for now, we only need to build two fisheries anyway, so let's go ahead. We could actually, yeah, build a few more if we wanted to, but the surplus is not really necessary at the moment. Um, so we have th that space here available, and with that, we can now go ahead and make this whole thing a bit more looking toward a 4 eye, right? So we don't need to have then uh, these blocks separated anymore. Um, and I think also what we could do is we could, for example, take the... The, not the depots, but any future export offices and the harbor master buildings and um, squeeze them in over there. We will need those harbor master offices anyway um, for the the items, right? So that we speed up any kind of um, loading and unloading. We still have some space here that we can use for additional houses. Then or we add some ornaments to this area. And here, uh, what we still need, we can... Yeah, well, not really take the whole thing, but we could um, make this block... Um, going over here so that we connect them right because with this we do get the attractiveness bonus from these modules They were separated up to this point if they're separated We don't get any bonuses and this actually puts us to an ordinary capital not a bad feat at all Can I squeeze in a no I can't unfortunately there's nothing else that we could do then over there um, For now right so what I can do then too is I'm um, probably squeezing in one of those piers Well that would actually work just over there at the end of the of the documents then where there can be a ship then docking for or in addition, right? So we have two, three piers, four, five at the moment. And actually for this whole thing, um, what we, what I could try is we could move, we could try and move the whole thing a bit further down there. But this one, no, there's the mountain then. So unfortunately this will not work for us right now. However, that we can do. Building another storage area then over there. Um, and also connecting this hole with my city. To make this one a bit larger. Now, we can actually unlock the coffee for my engineers. So let's do this. This will be the first good that we need on our way. And I would also like to quickly check the uh, Capnobis is coming in in six minutes because we do have a really cool over surplus of wood. What we can do here is I can now get rid of the wood uh, trade contract because we produce it ourselves now quite enough. And I would like to go with brass instead. Uh, do we have brass unlocked already? No, we don't. We do need to import cement 1,400 times. Shouldn't be a big deal. 1,400 times, that's actually... We can actually do this with one trade right, right away, right? There we have it. And with that, we do have then the the brass unlocked. Let's actually go with 140. Yep, then we have easily unlocked it. We just need a bit more storage uh, for this to work. And for that, we can add more uh, depots. Um, we do have some more space then over there. Or we could also hmm, have those depots. 
We could have the mirror like this one over there as well. And then I can still add some more depots to this area. Let's do this. There's also one more um, Harbor Master office that we can build in addition on one, also one export office. So I think, yeah, we have another trade contract available too. So that's this one. Now we have a total... Um, a total volume of storage, 1,400. That is just barely enough, I think. Yep, let's build one more depot. So we can have right over there and also the Harbor Master office number one. Include the city, adding us to a fair capital with that. With that, we have 1,500 cement available. Thing is, though, I think we will have some cement already in store. <laughs> Not really a lot. So with that, we will definitely fix this trade and unlock us the brass that we need on our way to the next uh, trade goods. And I would like to do something else, and that is exporting a thousand tons of fish for 38 bicycles. We will profit two times with that. We will unlock fish right away for the speciality good, right? So we can get another um, trade contract unlocked with that. And also 38 penny file things will give us a temporary uh, income boost of epic proportions. So in that case, we will profit two times from that. It's just a one trade time, a one time trade though, so that we get everything right there. Now let's go back to Eli because I would like to check here as well the items from time to time i'm already in the process of purchasing interesting items that we need for our economy so one of them would be the steely eyed steel smith this one here is pretty cool it not only increases productivity for steelworks weapon factories and steel beam heavy weapon factories it also um it reduces the negative attractiveness impact by 50 percent thus making it more likely for them to be on my island without doing anything and then the soap factory increases the, or increases the attractiveness actually to by 100%, so they no longer causes any penalty, and it also re uh, replaces tallow by, uh, for wood um, as an input resource. Also very, very interesting thing, so that we can get rid of all our rendering works here that we then no longer need, uh, except for the occasional ones that we need for some dynamites, but that's it really. That is pretty cool. So those things are working. Um, I've also boosted here my artisanal kitchens and canneries and production uh, just in general because we do need more canned food uh, we are really equal there right now or even um and of course with all the additional um people coming in that need it we definitely will need more of canned food another thing is uh, those people here don't have an uh, an artisan a, a theater yet right we have one in theater over there I would like to push another theater in this area and I think this is just a, a very good location there let's get rid of the the workers right and also of this one and then we can actually squeeze in a nice uh, looking theater right away into this uh, tiny area. Mm, something like that should work out with um, its own special entrance. Let's also have just some paved roads here right away. Because we have them so many bricks. And let's have the road here and then have an entrance here because there is an entrance and an entrance here. And a back entrance too. So this theater is fully used. Um, and then just really some trees for now add some flavor to it there you go actually in front of it we might add some statues mm, not the lion one but the spoon drift once again yeah there you go So this will increase the happiness for my artisans then also by quite a bit for all of them that are living in this area. Let's just have some paved roads there as well so that we maximize its reach once again into every direction. Though those workers don't need it yet. Speaking about the workers, we have 1,300 workers ready for action. So let's go ahead and continue with some upgrades to artisans. These guys here, for example, there's still a few more on the other side of the river. That we can still upgrade. Yeah, the plague, the occasional one. It just belongs to my city, really. And some more artisans over there. We should be careful not to have too many. We cannot uh, upgrade that many anymore. So there is a few more here. Then we are down to 300. And I would definitely like to have a few more here in the city center. This one, for example. Then we are 177. And then a few more here. And that's really the end of it. Once more, we still want to upgrade a few more on that side then as well. And there's already Captain Tobias coming in, and he will now uh, in the, be in the process of unlocking us the, the brass that we are needing, that we need so much, right? Unfortunately, he did not trade all the fish, so we are at 978. We will need to wait for another trade here, even though I told him 1000 is fine. This was not possible. This is not happening for now. With the cement, I think we will see um, the similar thing 
Nope, cement has been unlocked, uh, brass has been unlocked, perfect. And now I can finally use higher volumes of sewing machine because the workload and the schnapps are not enough and we can import the brass with that. Now for the brass, we can finally go ahead and start the spectacle one that we need our next product and also our light bulbs. Now for the light bulbs, we do need a couple more buildings um, as well. We do have a lot of coal by now, so my coal mines are working fine. And we still have space in the industry sector that we definitely want to use. First of all, I don't need that many brick factories anymore. We're not getting that much clay in. This saves me some worker workforce once more. Um, and over here, we still have, yep, one more sand mine available. Do they get boosted? Do they get reached by my power plant not really we might try to do this so let's just go ahead and have the paved road going all the way down here i would really like them to be boosted so let's move the warehouse there a bit yeah. only goes to this so this one is boosted now perfect we could actually most likely build another one here that we can boost in the same way and yeah we can add some two more um to this area the cell the shipyard, we go back, we get back there to this position. Let's build a few more clippers. We will need them. Let's get rid of this defense there. And then I probably, yep, can squeeze in another one here as well. We do want these sand mines because we do need lots of sand for the additional glass makers. There you go. And those guys, I definitely want to boost though, right? So it doesn't matter what, ha what I need to do in order for this to make it work. We definitely want to have these guys here electrified. Two of them are, two of them are not three of them are not so this is something i need to change and this is the occasional puzzle that we need to solve so we do have some a fire station there let's get rid of this and then we can move the window makers down there a bit all right and this actually works so we got now four of them electrified all four of them here there is still one that is not and then we can also have another one here that is also not and um, with that we have a surplus of sand now of two so another glass maker for that produces or consumes sand two per minute is fine because now we have it to totally equal again um, and then we have a surplus production for the sand of 12 so in that case enough for my um productions that we're going to need now as well one of them is actually with the brass that is coming in then well the, the the spectacle makers for this however we will need to expand the industry zone there a bit so we have the power plant let's just move it connection all the way up there and i want to see perfect so this whole area can be electrified too let's move the fire station to a tiny location over there and then we have this whole area available let's move the warehouse as well uh, that we can upgrade the trade pole or the, the warehouse and this warehouse here too because it's going to be needed now and with everything here and this makes it possible to use this whole area for two productions that we're going to need the light bulbs and the spectacle maker that we have over there how many spectacles do we need right now um if it's already there so one per minute that is not really a lot right despite having so many engineers already it's probably with all the investors incoming going up to four then Right, so we might uh, calculate around four, actually up to six, I think. So if I go by the standard, uh, if I want to calculate it for four, we would need six of the spectacle factories. But since we're improving it by electricity, we only need three. So we can calculate it with three for the moment. However, this might also increase then over time again. Let's just find us a suitable location. Actually, we could have all three of them right away here because there is nothing else that we would need for it, right? Let's have the, actually, uh, let's have the, the warehouse then here. And we could move then also the fire station right in here. And then we could have those three piling up <laughs> right over here as well. And of course, they all receive their fair share of electricity. And with that, let's build two for now. And we can just add the last one then later. And actually, we could also, yep, probably use the space here for fourth one. So this is plenty of spectacles for the time being and for the future as well. This will produce that. Perfect. Oh, yeah. This is then already coming in. And the other thing that we still wanted is the light bulbs. So that is the last good actually that we need. And for that, we do need the filament factory and then the light bulbs in addition, plus the glass that we have. For the light bulbs, we have actually a demand of two light bulbs per minute right now. This probably goes up all the way to eight that I would count now. That would mean eight light bulb factories. However, we improve it by electricity. That means four light bulb factories that we need. Uh, four of them and that also in addition requires two filament factories for the full uh, production cycle here actually four as well so four filament factories and four 
a light bulb factories that we need. Let's just try to squeeze this one in over there. This is going to be a bit dirty there, right? So, dirty industry um, that is polluting a bit. This one, unfortunately, yeah, they have a pretty big range there. Pretty big size, I should say. So, we might just see really not a lot of space anymore in my industry zone. I could move those guys, but they are being... Oops. Yeah, they're being improved here. This one not yet. Now it is. I would like to keep them here because we will always need those. So two I can definitely squeeze in. They, however... Yeah, they get their electricity yet. So that is fine. I would definitely like to use electricity with those guys though. So that's the tricky one here now. However, we don't really need to boost all our weapon factories anymore. So I could move the weapon factories a bit further away from everything. And actually, we could also delete one of them. Because I'm pretty sure we really don't need that many anymore. We just need to make some room here. Some adjustment for the size of this one. Mm, actually, this can work, right? Squeezing it in. And then we can... Yeah, then we actually have space for two light bulb factories over there as well. They're also getting electricity and all the weapon factories there, really. We didn't really lose anything. Let's make the connection there. So as always, this is a bit of a puzzle there that we need to play. And there's also a trade union possibility here for the future. So whatever I'm going to assign here. There's definitely the attractiveness item coming to the furnaces. And that's that. We will definitely need to upgrade this warehouse there though by two. Doing this. And that one here, it will as well. Very good. Let's build the first two that we need for the filaments. Getting boosted right away. Consuming now coal to make filaments out of it. Very dirty once it starts working. And then we can also start with the two light bulb factories right over there. Very expensive too. 90,000. But also necessary for my people. Yeah. And this industry zone is starting to look like something. Especially when fully paved then as well. It's actually this nice alley that we can have there. So if there's actually trees that can grow in this area, those are the ones. <laughs> They're trying to, to do their best cleaning the air around them. I guess that's something. And then we can continue here with more paved roads as well. Just overall speeding up transportation time. Reducing transportation time. Another very important thing that we'll need to do in the Docklands is we need to add now some loading wharfs here to reduce the the loading times for what's actually happening there at the Docklands, right? It's a bit too long and we are going to do this over there. Because right now uh, we had like 6 minutes and this one is reducing it by 50% each, so... I think half in total then of what we can go here for. All right, Tobias is still trading. He will leave then soon. We still have 1,600 artisans. So there is still the opportunity of actually upgrading a few more. And by the way, also, yeah, some here that I would like to go for. Two artisans, right? So there we have them. Oh, and there's also this Shift one there. Perfect. So what's going on? The pirates are loose. I do have my shippies, also my legendary mortar. And I definitely want to see this in action more often. So let's just move my ships over there. Mm, right. And definitely also from time to time looking out for that white flag. Because it's still a pretty good thing against the pirate. And look at on the look on the map. We have Sean everywhere on my territory. Aye. He doesn't take it lightly when Do there is someone opposing him, I guess. And Sean is still pretty strong, right? And Harlow in the old world, she's not really existing. So she's getting crushed by the very strong AI opponents here. And yeah, there we are in the middle of it once again. And there was the mortar. As always, a pleasure to watch it. There's also this one here going down on that monitor and you can actually si uh, fire from them for, from both sides. So their uh, ships can fire from both sides of course. So we take them down more easily. There's already another one coming in and of course looking out for any kind of loot that we might find here.
And yeah, also this, this ship will go down. Hopefully Sean actually then proposes something again. So he needs to propose, right? We cannot propose because the price would be just insane. Um, let's have a look at one of my ships get it. Uh, there was something. Oh yeah, another captain of marines. The damage to buildings is increased. This is going to be very good once we start fighting islands directly. And this one has another rocket. So damage per shot is increased by 10%. I hope this is also counting for my Malivan's multi-shot mortar. That would be pretty cool. And up there, some weapons. All right, I'll take it. No more Sean? There is another Sean. Come on, Sean. Let's say hello to him. He's actually trying to really, really destroy my clippers there. No chance though. Of course, he's, he might be a bit angry for this, but he can't really do anything about it. And there's another one. The Swamp Rat. Right over there. Let's just try and also capture or catch this one before it is able to leave. This one is a bit damaged. Let's just leave it there. What do we get? Artillery Woman. Affects all defense turrets. Of self repair of 300%. And uh, there's another one. Two. He's really pumping out those ships. I think I, I, well, I definitely cannot hold out here forever now with that many ships coming in all the time. But this one should actually go down now. And my motors should be running out of pool then again. This one. Oh, it's one of them down here. All right, this one's down. Yeah, but he's really coming in with a lot of ships there. There's the next two coming in. This I can't, I can't hold up forever. Alright, so that's down. Alright, so those two are rather close together, so I'm hoping that we can actually attack them when they're together like this. So let's just try this out. And fire. Yes, very good. We got them both here, and then the second mortar. Yeah, very good. Splash damage, I love it. And with that, we also took down both of these here. I guess I did not expect to lose them so quickly. Uh, let's just take the loot. There is now lots of stuff here for us that we might have a good a good look at. A good closer look at that. Oh, yep, the Abbas gun. So when activated, fires a fast projectile. Another active weapon. Some rum and some self-repair kit. I'll take these. And with that, we have cleared most of Sean now in this area. My ships definitely will take some time. We have the bricks now in Pedra. So let's also quickly build our repair crane that we'll need so there we have it with the seven the ridiculous 75 tons of bricks that this one here needs and i guess let's have it right next to my harbor building for now and my ships are on the way now getting their proper repair also the clipper that is on the way too perfect so that's that i will however since these attacks persist uh, get me let's say three more ships there to to the new world right and of course we continue building those royal warships there so three more i can definitely spare and i would also like to have one last look there at eli nothing that we need right now though so far so good onwards to investors i'd say stay tuned